Hello, Rob Bras and Rod Sisters. My name is Timothy. What's your name, young lady? My name is Emily. Her name is Emily, and she's my sister. <laughs> Today we're coming to you with a topic that everyone's probably experienced before. Maybe you're experiencing it right now as my sister and I look into each other's eyes. Awkward. Emily, you are so awkward. I'm not awkward. <laughs> that was pretty awkward. <laughs> so, last night, maybe you saw me um, publicizing. We had a video hangout, a Google hangout, um, about being awesome in awkward situations. And that's what I'm going to kind of um, fill you in on what you might have missed last night. So. First of all, in order to claim that someone is something or that you are something, you have to define what it is. So Emily, and Emily, Emily had no idea she was going to be in this video. I just asked her like a second ago, I was like, hey, you want to be in a video about something that you probably know about? <laughs> and she said yes. So Emily, what, what is awkward? Because I heard you use that, you called someone awkward last night, didn't you? I was talking about a situation I was in and I told that person they were awkward. Okay, so what is awkward? Awkward to me is um, when you're in a situation, probably with one person, and there's a moment where there might not, you might not know what to say. Um, you might have said something that you wish you didn't say, and it kind of goes silent, and then nobody knows what to say. <laughs> All right. Congratulations, I admire your courage for trying to define awkwardness because that's, and this is how I define it after thinking about it a little bit. Awkwardness is, it's an elevated heart rate. It's sweaty palms. <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty uh, heart elevated. <laughs> so awkwardness is, a, it's sweaty palms, it's heart being elevated. Um, it's a shaky voice, it's shaky knees, it's uh, butterflies in your stomach, whatever that is. It's um, darty eyes. It's dr drinking a lot of smoothie because you don't know what else to do with your body. Um, so, now that we know what awkwardness, awkwardness actually is, the question is, do you want it, what, what, just think about this. So instead of saying that someone's awkward or being awkward, what if you were like, oh, you are so elevated heart rate right now. <laughs> <laughs> you are so sweaty palms, Emily. That might make the situation more awkward. <laughs> it, might, it might increase your heart rate. Yeah. It might increase the butterflies. It might increase the shaky knees. And the question is, what's wrong with uh, having your heart beat? Or what's wrong with having sweaty palms or shaky knees? And... Uh, First of all, in order to, to, ask, to figure out the answer to that, we might want to ask ourselves, what's the opposite of those things? The opposite of sweaty palms and... Elevated heart rate. Um, sleeping. <laughs> sleeping, maybe. Or dullness. Or feeling indifferent. Or feeling bored. Feeling a lack of interest. And not feeling alive. Not feeling alive. You see where I'm getting at now? You see where I'm going with this? This is awkward! <laughs> so, um, my point is, do you want to live life feeling nothing? Do you want to live life being indifferent? Do you want to live life in your comfort cage? I think we can all agree that um, a lot of growth, I won't say all growth, but a lot of growth takes place outside of your comfort cage. <laughs> You're getting a little close. I thought we were trying to get out of our comfort cage. Yeah, but you know, there are there's, there's certain lines that we can't cross. Um, uh, anyway, yeah, um, so next time that you're finding yourself with an elevated heart rate, sweaty palms, shaky knees, I want you to ask yourself, well, maybe this is a good thing that I'm experiencing this. and. A little piece of advice I'm going to give to you is in order to have more grace in an awkward situation or more grace in a 
fun, comfortable situation, it's important that you talk about the elephant in the room. <laughs> the elephant in the room. That's, what, that's the thing that everyone's thinking about, but maybe no one has enough courage to talk about it. And if you can be that person to talk about it, then you might just start tapping into a new level of aliveness and awareness about yourself and other people around you, and a new, a new gained respect from your friends and family. Every, everyone's going to be like, oh, finally somebody said that. Mm -hmm. and that's what the Raw Bros are professionals about. Professionals of. It's about talking about the elephant in the room. Um, and if you, know, if you want to experience that, we actually have a, a retreat I will be hosting in Georgia October 29th through November 2nd coming up. Um, if you're interested in joining that and experiencing some very, we won't say awkward, but some heart pop, throbbing, sweaty palms, shaky knees, uh, full of life situations, you can email me. Robbraz at gmail.com. I think Emily's actually coming on this retreat. Oh, yeah. I am. I'm really excited about it. Yeah, I'm super excited about it. Right now we have a, a really cr good crew coming, um, but we do have spots for a few more. Not many more, but maybe just one or two more of you guys watching this video. So back to the awkwardness. Wait, I want to interrupt. Okay. Um, speaking of the retreat, one major thing I'm looking forward to is the weather. The weather mm. here at that time of year, including right now, right now until that time, it's just like peak Georgia weather. And you have to see it for yourself. You have to feel it for yourself. Feel it for yourself. It is beautiful. It is the peak time to be in Georgia, in my opinion. My HD professional weather. Opinion. HD weather. I'm calling it weather fest. Anywho, so, you know what might just be keeping you from getting a... A higher position in your job, getting a raise, what? getting a bonus, or, or what might be keeping you from um, starting a relationship with the girl of your dreams or the guy of your dreams? What might be keeping you from having a massive breakthrough with your family or your, or your friend that you've found yourself on bad terms with is being afraid of confronting the sweaty palms. Being afraid of, of feeling your heart beat, of being afraid of feeling your knees shake, of uh, having a trembling voice. I don't want anyone to hear me talk like this because it's so embarrassing. Or when you feel like you need to cry and you have that lump in your throat and you're just holding it in, holding it in. Why are you holding it in? Yes. Your body is obviously trying to let it out. You know, maybe some of you out there in this watching this video, maybe you're like, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not about all that heart racing, sweaty palm stuff. I'd rather just, you know, sit in the corner of my house and, uh, you know, be in my comfort cage. And yes, I'm being a little exaggerated, but I'm trying to drive the point home. So, I'm going to wrap up this video real soon about, uh, and, th and this is my advice to you. Each one of us here, me, Emily, you watching this video, are going to be confronted with that situation real soon, where Maybe you start noticing your heart rate or maybe like something said that you don't necessarily agree with and it's going to be kind of awkward to confront that. Well, you can, in, in the situations that come, when you, you know, go back into the world, go back into your social situations, you can either take the higher route or the lower route. The lower route being pretty much any time you choose to distance yourself from a situation because it's, because you start noticing these sensations increasing. Okay, I'm going to say it one more time. The lower route being anytime you choose to pull away or distance yourself to walk away from a situation because you're noticing you're starting to shake, your heart's starting to beat, your hands are shaking, mm -hmm. palms sweaty. That's the lower route. And that's usually the route that's going to keep you in a place of, um, of less growth, a place of not accomplishing your goals, a place of maybe being bored with or stagnant in your life, or you can take the higher route, the higher route, um, which that being, I'm going to stand right here and I'm going to, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to really feel, fully feel my way through this situation. I'm going to fully let my heart beat outside of my chest. People might even start to see my shirt go like this because <laughs> I'm so nervous. But that's okay. That's what living is. 
That's what living is. You're going to stand on your rock and you're not moving. You're going to stand on your rock and you're going to confront all those feelings and you're not going to leave until everyone, you know, until you've, you've talked about the elephant in the room and that taking the higher route. That's awkward. Taking the higher route could lead you to having that breakthrough with your best friend to, to, or your spouse or even your girlfriend, boyfriend. It could lead you to telling your boss something that you never, he never thought you would have the courage to say and he might be like, you know what, Emily, I really appreciate you for telling me that. I, I think I'm going to give you a raise or I think I'm going to bump you up to this position that you've been interested in. So, which route are you going to take, the higher or the lower route? And usually, uh, that, when someone throws out the term like, oh, he's being awkward, it's kind of like whoever smelt it, dealt it. Yeah, it's like they're it, the ones who's feeling the awkwardness. And that's okay, good for them. I'm jealous that they're feeling awkward. I want to feel awkward. I want to feel, I want to feel alive. Um, so, yeah. We're trying to take you where you've never been before. That's right. And uh, yeah, awkward, telling someone that they're awkward is usually a way of trying to pull someone down when they're doing something that's, when they're standing out. And if you, you know, that's, that's a big, that's another big fear people have is standing out. And a lot of times people have to go through a hundred awkward situations before they become a celebrity, before they become a, a, a world renowned star. Because they, they refuse to let fear get in the way of them standing out or, or refuse to let feeling awkward or being awkward uh, get in the way of them standing out. So just some things to think about as well. Again, the Georgia retreat coming up. If you have at all interest in that, Emily's going to be there. We've got a lot of special guests coming, a lot of awesome people from around the world. Um, October 29th through November 2nd. Email us right now, robroz at gmail.com, subject line Georgia, and I'm going to follow up with you. All right. God bless you. I hope you have a great, awkward, heart-throbbing, palm-sweaty, knee-shaking day. Try to put yourself in that situation today. Seek, seek after it. Where can I find those feelings of sweaty palms, nerves? Put yourself in them. That's, uh, that's my challenge to you today. That's our challenge. And I, I will dare say, the longer you resist, mm. the longer you resist those awkward situations, the longer that they will persist in your life. You have to look at them head on. Got to go right into the fire. Got to go right in there. Just okay. stare at them. It's okay to be afraid. Just don't let it hold you back from doing what you want to do and know what your heart's telling you want to do.